Hi, this is Roman Tube. Today on the Hunter Coroad, I'm at Quattro Kalinas. I'm on the Red Deer grind, going for my second, the Great One Red Deer, and it's going well. We've had a lot of Red Deer. I'm nine diamonds in up to yet, and I think I've got another one over the river. But the main reason I'm making a video today is about yesterday's community update. So let's talk about some of those things and why I think one of them, especially, might be very important. Your feedback and recommendations have not gone unnoticed. We're working on addressing a number of items mentioned. Here are a couple we'll be shipping in February, so very soon. Rain, rain, go away. The designers have made some tweaks to the weather system, so it's not going to rain as much. The likelihood of rain will be lower while still maintaining the desired vibe and aesthetics. So they're not going to lower it and totally ruin the atmosphere or anything. They just on Mississippi, it, it does rain a lot, so some people don't like that for visibility reasons, also for performance reasons. So that's a good thing. Now, this is the one that's interesting me, and uh, I don't know if it's what I think it is, but it could be, and I really hope it is. Just around the river bend, we'll be implementing point to point transport sites along the riverbank in Mississippi Acres Preserve. At present, they won't be visible on the map, but that is something we'll be addressing a little later this year. Now, I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking, what if that's boats? Now, you might be thinking, that's grabbing a bit, but listen to me, right? We're on the perfect reserve. Watch the cleaners has a boat on it. Uh, you can actually get in it, and you, but you just go to the other side. But what I'm thinking is, if they're putting in point-to-point -point transport sites, moorings or something like that on the rivers, ponds. That's the perfect time. It's Mississippi Acres Preserve, they've said as well, to help you get across the water, but I think that could be ideal time to add boats. And you know, I hope to God it is boats, because that would make my year. Imagine an airboat on Mississippi Acres Preserve hunting gators, that would transform it. And then if they add the same system on other reserves you could add of other different boats so that would open up a whole different sort of style of hunting traveling that could be a big deal and i hope it is like the start of boats coming into the hunt of corner wild what do you think about that so even if it isn't boats straight away it could be the start of adding boats add the moorings and stuff now Work on boats, get them right, add them at a later date. You've got the moorings set up. That would transform the game in a lot of ways. So I hope that is the case. That's the reason I'm here after one of those. Could be number 10. We'll soon see. Um, on top of the things we've just gone over, we'll share the preliminary patch notes for our next release. Plus the updated known issues list alongside next week's community update. The soundtrack for Mississippi Acres Preserve will be available to listen on Spotify very soon. More info coming later. So yeah, it's been a brilliant week. I've done some videos early in the week talking about the new map that may be coming, new dogs, new weapons. Uh, let's just go over those shortly. Check the videos out if you haven't already seen them. Lots of people replied. I've been so happy with how many have replied. But uh, favourite maps, European maps, Africa 2.0 um, is very popular as well. Australia, as always. So there's sort of the three areas where people may think are coming next. Weapon-wise, the 308 has been just like everyone saying that in every comment. Honestly, I had like five or 600 comments and most of those was 308. So we've got a nice diamond there. Also, dogs, Labrador and short-haired or German pointers uh, they're what stood out dog wise but it's been very interesting looking at all your comments and i'm thanking you for all commenting and it's very detailed and a lot of people want the same things which is very interesting uh so it's great to see that so we have definitely got something coming very shortly what it is we'll soon see but i can't wait to hear more so we've got another diamond that's number 10 on the red deer grind hopefully we closer to our red deer great one number two so i'm ron mctube i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my youtube channels and thanks for watching bye bye